Intruder alert. alert. Intruder alert. alert. Security, Security breach at gate 3. Intruder, Intruder has been located, located in the north, north quadrant, quadrant and is, and is moving, moving in the direction, direction of the underground, underground base. base. All, All units prepare, prepare to engage. engage. Emergency, Emergency battle, battle formations. formations. Standard, Standard battle, battle procedures, procedures initiated. Locate and stop, stop the intruder from entering the security area. area. This, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. Repeat, repeat, this, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. <laughs> that was all too easy. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared it. What's up guys, Town here back again with another episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. We are now covering the dark side story now that the hero side is complete. As you can see, um, if we're going in chronological order, this actually takes place at the very beginning of the story with Eggman. Um, the reason why I chose to do it this way with the hero story first and then the dark story, I just like playing the hero characters a little bit more. Even though they all control exactly the same, I just prefer their side of the story over the dark one. And I will be showing these cutscenes off in order anyway when I go and do all the Dreamcast cutscenes when I go to play this game all over again. Anyway, long time no see guys. It might not be a long time for you, but it's been like, let's say like two weeks since I last recorded the other video. And we're in the new year now, so if I haven't said it already in any of my other videos I have gone up by now, Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a good holiday season, and we are now... Oh, the time is slowly ticking down for me before I actually leave for a while and I have to leave this channel for a little bit. But like I said before, I will have videos coming up in a timely fashion on this channel so you guys still get stuff to watch. But aside from that, I do also have friends as well that does this stuff as well that you can check for and watch with. Um, one of my friends that I've been helping out recently over on Twitch, oh, speaking of which, over there is the upgrade for Dr. Eggman, but I can't get that yet until I get an upgrade for his cannon, which I won't be getting for a while. But anyway, as I was saying, we are going to be, um, why I say that? No, I was talking about um, my friend who I've been helping on Twitch recently. He recently just got uh, the affiliate status. His name's Craze Lion, my friend Hesh. Um, he's been on my channel before. In fact, he was with me back when I revamped the channel and brought it back from the brink when I was doing the whole uh, Spider-Man playthrough a while ago. So please do check out his channel too. He's been doing really well. Right now we're doing a Pokemon Sword and Shield Nuzlocke. At least he is while I'm just helping out with various comments and other edits. So that's that's doing pretty well. So that was my shout out for the video. So there you go, Hash. Thank you. And anyway, now let's actually get back to what we're going on right now. So um, like I said before, this is the very beginning of the whole story in chronological order, and we're on Prison Island right now, trying to figure out what Eggman's grandfather was doing for GUN, the top secret military gunman, um, 50 years ago when he was a researcher here. And I think at this point we're almost done with the stage. So far it's been pretty easy, but this is what you can expect for um, the first um, levels for each of the heroes, or for each of the story sidelines you got going on. It won't be like any difficult, like uh, the dark side playthrough is a lot harder than the hero. They're all roughly the same up until like the middle towards the end part. Then they start to get like gradually and gradually more difficult. But anyway, now we just have to go ahead and activate this horn beacon up before we have to actually step over here so this uh, cutscene triggers. Otherwise, this missile at the very top won't be active for us to actually home in on to hit. Let's go ahead and have this break through the iron gates. And we just gotta rush over to victory, and I got a decent enough score, but there we go. It's the end of the level, and I'm sorry I didn't talk a whole lot about this one, but we're just getting started, so keep in mind that moving forward. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on and see what awaits us down inside this facility. <laughs> Piece of cake. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. And 
enter password. Password is Maria. Maria, now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. You were so kind to release me, my master. I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. Alright, so questions. Eggman, why the hell did you drop all the way to the bottom to see a platform that was rising up? That makes no sense at all. Second, I actually like how he realized, oh, that's not Sonic, he's a whole different color, which most people in this series seems to forget. Even in the Sonic X like anime, it's like, oh, there goes Sonic the Hedgehog, a known blue hedgehog who is now all of a sudden black. Like, oh my gosh, that's that that part really irritates me. Anyway, just like um the first boss for Sonic's level, all we have to do is attack his cockpit while he's moving towards us. The only difference is he actually has this homing, like, a spirit bomb type, like, attack. So we have to avoid that, and as he's coming closer, if I can actually do it right, and actually, uh, get my jumps alright, we can actually hit him on his cockpit while he's moving along. Uh, just, I think he needs only four hits and then he's done for. And also, make sure you watch out for the missiles. I, at this point, I was like, forget it about being stealthy and careful let me just go in for the hits whenever I can get them thankfully at this part we're like close enough where we can't hold me attack into him to actually get hits in so if I just get one more good one he's done for I wish I did this a little better but it was good enough for me towards the end anyway that's the first boss down not too difficult I wouldn't go that far jeez he's just doing his job shadow let me get dick Destroying that guard robot was spectacular! So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark? Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. 
All right, so now we're getting into Dry Lagoon with Rouge and finding treasure, finding treasure, finding the three pieces of Master Emerald with her. So, um, since we finished off the heroes playthrough, whenever we see the heroes in the villains cutscenes, if we collected all their upgrades, they will show up in the uh, villains cutscene as well that they have them. So that's why Knuckles is all decked out at the very beginning of this one because I already got it in the hero one, so that's why I stayed there. Uh, it also works vice versa. If you were to do the villains playthrough first and go to the heroes one, you will see the villains wearing all their suit up gear. Um, that doesn't mean like when you go into like rival fights with them that they'll have their fully upgraded self onto you right at the very jump. They'll be mitigated to how they should be for that particular fight. So you don't have to worry about that. Oh, thankfully that one didn't take too long to fight. Although I still I still really dislike the treasure hunting levels just because of what I've been harping on so much since the very beginning of this series when we got into how it works compared to Sonic Adventure 1's Master Emerald system. But anyway, I don't want to digress too hard on it. It's just it's trying to find something else to talk about during these sections. Thankfully, like, it's not too hard at the very beginning, but of course, once you get like um, further on to like the space levels, then it's really annoying because the stage is way too big. And it looks like it's buried under something or is inside an enemy. I don't want to really get a hint box, but I know we're close to where it is, but okay, here's inside the box. Okay, only one more left and we're almost at two minutes, so that's not too bad. Oh good, and, oh okay good, it was like really easy to find. I don't know why I'm thinking like this is the very first time I'm seeing, it's just the first time I'm seeing it in months. I just gotta glide into it, and good, under two minutes, not too bad. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how the rest of this goes through. I think we got one more level in before we gotta end off the video, so let's go ahead and see what's gonna transpire next Perfect, for the villains. Like me? You are right, Ruse, you are right. Oh, never mind, don't even give me a cutscene, just go straight into it. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's take care of business here first, then get inside. Alright, well, now we're back in control of Eggman, and right up the uh, bat over here, on this left-hand side, that's actually where we can get an upgrade for Eggman. However, just like how it was in Prison Lane, uh, his first stage, uh, we're not able to get to it until we get um, the hover upgrade for him, which we'll get later on, I think probably in the next episode or two. So we'll have to come back here in order to get it. In fact, it's not even that serious. The upgrade over there is just his Mystic Melody, so I'll be showing you guys that one later on towards the end of the playthrough when I go ahead and do um, a bonus video to show off the remaining upgrades we need to get to have everyone fully get it out. Anyway, Pyramid Base. This is um, Eggman's first time coming here, so he's establishing it. So before we come here as the heroes with like in t uh, with tails, actually, before you like break in, this is him going into here to like actually set up everything for the space colony art transport that we've been seeing later on. That also brings back um, something else too that I noticed inside um, the gun facility when we unleash Shadow. The console there was exactly the same model as the one that you see on the Space Colony Arc, which could be, um, you know, intentional because it's supposed to be representative of, you know, the Doctor's design since it was made by his grandfather, so he also did the same thing on the Arc 2, so that's probably why they're the same. Another reason why I think it might be the same, more realistically, um, just reuse assets instead of making whole brand new ones where you just reuse what you have. Which mo most likely I feel like is the case, because you, you could have made it different, but it's like, if we have an asset here already, and they serve the same purpose of just showing, you know, the bad guys using the computer monitor for it, why not just keep it the same and reuse what we have? No need to work harder, we need to just work smarter. Anyway, you got a hidden golden beetle over here, so she's dead for some big points. And of course, points are the big thing in this I'm trying to get done. Because I, I want to get good grades. I want to get, We should all try to get good grades. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I'm trying to make it happen. And when it doesn't happen, I feel sad on the inside. Because it makes me think I'm not a good player of this game. Despite how much I love it and how much time I played this. 
fact, I spent like two hours straight playing this one. Actually, no, this one was three hours. The Heroes one was two hours to do all in one sitting. But anyway, I'm getting off topic to just going off of these random tannins of me. Going off of memories of what it was like recording all these. In fact, nope, oh, I'm doing it again. I'm about to start memorizing something else. Oh, anyway, the pyramid base. So, he says it's a hidden pyramid base that he's trying to get into. And you can understand that for right now because all you see is like GUN flags everywhere. But when it comes to actually going over his base with tails, you literally see his like moniker and logo plastered everywhere. So it's not, at that point, it's not really a hidden pyramid base. It's like, oh, this base clearly belongs to Dr. Eggman. You see his face right there on the boxes, on the statues, on the flags. It's like everywhere. It's just the big old, hey, this is Eggman's place, come invade. So I don't really know how it really counts as hidden at that point. But then again, like, if you could do the stuff that Eggman did, um, Eggman does, I, you would want to make sure people know it's you, you know? Like, put your brand out there, put your face on everything. In fact, I love putting my face on flags. I don't know why, but I do, but... <laughs> oh my god. In fact, I still can't even believe I did that that one time. But anyway, we're getting pretty close to the end of this level. Uh, we only have one final stretch left after this point, and then we're done. We got a good score, too. All we have to do is just keep destroying these pillars and making our way through. Thankfully, oh, I don't like it when I grab the pets. I don't like using the animals for um, the chow garden, unless it's like very specific ones, because I just don't like how they make the chows look towards the end. But I'll be going more in detail to that later on when we go over the chow system, garden, and whatnot. I, oh, I just remember, I didn't do it in the first game, and I do apologize about that. I mainly wanted to do it in this one because the chow garden in this game is a lot better than the first one. So that's mainly why I skipped that on. But anyway, we're now done. And at this point, yep, this is going to be it for today's video. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle with the Dark Side Story. And in the next episode, we'll be continuing on with the rest. So until then, I will see you guys later. So until then, take care, everyone.